It is pretty cold outside. I'm here in Red Deer. We're gonna be driving all the way back to Calgary and we're gonna see what kind of estimated range we get, how this trip will go. I do have winter tires on it. They're 265, 45R20, Nokia and Hakapalita R5s all around. Currently we have 46% battery. It says minus 18 degrees Celsius, but it feels like minus 28 degrees Celsius. So it's very, very cold. Once I put the address, it does tell me I need to go to the Red Deer supercharger to charge the car. We should be at the supercharger with 44% battery, but I will be not charging there. I truly believe with 46% battery, we should be able to reach all the way to the Crow Siren supercharger here. So we should be able to pull off here, charge, and then we'll be able to reach home safely. So we have a supercharger right here and this is where I'm going to be going. Here's the energy app. This is kind of what it looks like. The car started battery conditioning so hopefully that doesn't use quite a bit of energy. I will lower the temperature to like 21 as well as turn off. Well it's already off the rear climate. 45% battery, minus 18 degrees outside, 6.52 p.m. Let's get on with this trip. So we arrived with 1% battery to the supercharger. The car automatically started navigating to the supercharger when we were midway. It first tried to navigate me back to Red Deer and then it later changed it to Cross Iron. And then I come here, there's two chargers that do not work. It's not like latching. So I guess it's frozen. It might've been in snow or something. But this is kind of how it is. There's like two cars ahead of us. I didn't realize they were in line. So they come up and then talk to me, but no, let's try and see if it's gonna work. It is just pretty much latching non-stop. See, it's not connecting. Must be definitely frozen inside. Vehicle consumes battery power while idle. I'm back here lined up. We got another Tesla right there. And we are currently at 1% battery. If I try to get home right now, we will be there with minus 13%. It's pretty cold outside. It seems like there's like ice buildup in the connectors. So far we drove 299 kilometers, 82 kilowatt hours was the battery usage, 273 watt hours per kilometer. That Tesla left, so this person will go and charge over there. And then after them, it will be me because no one is in the other Tesla. It is a bit weird though, when you come up and you see like three Teslas parked here and then two spots are open, you don't expect them to not work because if you look here, it says only one is out of order. It also says it's a five minute wait time. So there goes that one. And then after him, it will be me. Okay, 1% battery. And now that will latch. It went in much easily. There goes that one. And then it will be this guy's turn to charge. But yeah, there you go, we're supercharging. The car was preconditioning the battery, so I'm not sure if, let's say, it ended up needing to precondition again. We're at 2%, we don't have to worry about it anymore. 800-ish kilometers every hour is the charge. We will let this charge, and then I'll go on, use the restroom, and probably grab some stuff. Back in the car says 25 minutes to continue the trip. We're at 17% battery. We're charging at 66 kilowatts, 300-ish kilometers an hour, 15 kilowatt hours added. And if we look here, that has costed us so far $10 to charge that much. So that was 17% for $10. So with my experience today, it seems like my Model X can only go 300 kilometers from a single charge during this cold days, minus 17 to minus 22 degrees Celsius. That is a quite a bit of range that we're losing. Here's kind of what it looks like. It says we consumed 509.4 kilometers, 210 kilometers more than estimated 
estimated vehicle consumption since last charge. So it seems like my Model X can only go like 300 kilometers from a single 100% charge all the way down to like 1%. I will probably do it a bit differently from now on because it was very terrifying when I got here with 1% and then two superchargers do not work. And then there's two other people in line with another person saying that they had 1% as well. But yeah, that was my supercharging experience and it seems like my car can only go that far. We're supercharging, it's getting faster and faster, it's probably hitting the battery. I have reset the trip A, 29% and whenever it's like 30% I'll go ahead and unplugged and then I'll let you guys know how many percent we've used for the amount of distance I drove until I get home. And sometimes if it shows this much and as soon as you unplug it pretty much sometimes lowers it to be cheaper than what it was showing us for this session. So we'll see if this number changes. 30% we're at like 17.22. I did not use the latch. It gives me that warning sometimes. Let's unplug. It says we should be home with 15% but I do have a little bit of errands to do and then I will get home and I'll show you guys the amount of mileage I drove and what percentage we were left. Just arrived home with 13% battery. He used 17% battery to drive 62 kilometers 15 kilowatt hour was the total energy average energy efficiency was 237 watt hours per kilometer this is from the supercharger this is kind of how we did and here it is in distance so we used 31.4 kilometer more than the estimate vehicle consumption since we charged and then two kilometer more than the trip projection and it says with that 13 percent we can go 69 kilometers so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one